Hey, Journey. Pastor John here with another midweek conversation, joined by Pastor Dustin Agard. And this week, Dustin and I are joined by a creative arts pastor, Pastor Jeremy Tomlinson. Yes. Hello, hello. Good to have you, sir. Good to be here. Good to be here. Jeremy, yes, good yes. to have you with us today, brother. Thank you. Um, Jeremy, you have served with us and uh, on staff at Journey for, uh, what's it been? A little over five years, or a good over, bit over five years. Yeah, good yeah, deal. Easter was around five years, so. I remember when you came, you just had two kids. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I doubled since then. You, Your family, uh, <laughs> you've up. been fruitful and multiplied. <laughs> Indeed. And all, and all kind of around the Christmas. I remember your third, Nolan, was born right around Christmas, mm -hmm, wasn't October. It? Yeah, coming this month. Oh, it was in October. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But late October. And, then, and it was when was your daughter, Maylee? Yeah, December 30th. December, be, that, that's the one I was thinking yeah. about. Yeah, that, that was Christmas. Yes. Well, we've, we've mentioned Nolan, we've mentioned May. Let's mm -hmm, mention the other two. Mm -hmm. So Benjamin, seven. Yep. And uh, Jackson is nine. And yeah. and Pastor Jeremy, uh, some of you know, many of you probably don't know, is married mm -hmm. to uh, Pastor Randy Green's daughter, one of his daughters. Yes. Crystal. Yes. Who's yep. on our worship team and is an incredible gift. She could sing. Uh, I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. I, I I could be biased, but I think it's 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 undisputed. She yeah. she can sing. She can sing. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we har hardly agree with that. <laughs> For sure. And we've been married about twelve years and little over really? twelve years. Twelve yeah. years. Yep. Now you're a you're a Tennessee boy. Yes, sir. So. And uh, your your dad was in uh, is in ministry. Was yes. in ministry for uh, all his Since life. Since he was sixteen, he is a lot hey, a, a lot minute. like really? yeah. Uh, like and and only ever. I thought and, seventeen <laughs> was the, the the. He had to one up the you title. a little bit. <laughs> I got it. Wow. Yeah, he's and he's always well. I guess he did some youth ministry, but he's primarily been a preacher. Like uh, since then, <laughs> ever yeah. since like a yeah. teenager, basically. And is he in Tennessee? He's in Tennessee. Yeah. So Nashville, Tennessee, uh, has been home like headquarters for our family uh, ever since before I was born. Uh, and both of my parents, my dad's a Nashville native. My mom's from Lebanon, Tennessee, which is like 20 minutes outside of Nashville. And they both went to college in Nashville, met, met in, at David Lipscomb University, um, or Lipscomb University now it's called. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so that's always, we moved around a good bit growing up, but that was always headquarters and they've been there for decades. So yeah. And you have some siblings. Yeah. So I'm the youngest of four. Okay. So I have three older brothers. So now I, I've gotten to know one of them. I think it's a David. Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. Daniel. You. He's probably <laughs> he's, watching. He'll this. watch. He'll watch. Daniel. <laughs> when we when we made the the pivot online, uh -huh. Daniel was a consistent regular. I think still is. He's watching every week. Oh, and that's not Joel. Just, that's Joel. Oh, is it Joel? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they so both Joel. do, but yeah, Joel is. Sorry, Daniel. In the moment, you just got bumped. But by Daniel's Jeremy. all over. Yeah, he's on there too. So yeah. I, I've Joel. seen I've seen Joel <laughs> and Thomas Jason. And, yeah. 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 Wow. And, and he's yeah, not yeah. just watching. Yeah, he's he's that's cheering cheering on every step. So you got a good fam. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep, my brothers are are very involved all over the place. So, yeah, and two of them are in Nashville, and one's in Arkansas. So, yeah, you know, one of the things that that that's I, I you know after being in ministry for forty years, I've worked with a lot of different um, music ministers. That was the term back in the day. Mm -hmm. I remember when they were choir directors. <laughs> so we used to have choir directors, or we have song leaders when mm -hmm. I started out, mm -hmm. and then that's, choir yeah. directors, yep. and then music ministers. True, and now a creative uh, arts pastor. <laughs> But Jeremy is well beyond. We can't we we can't just pigeonhole Jeremy as as one type of personality because you're you're a carpenter, right? I, I I say my first love as far as hobbies and career would be carpentry. I never went down that path, but I love it. It's I mean, a, it's you're a able to yeah. make he can make <laughs> stuff with his hands that I so envy. Jeremy's created these <laughs> sets. A lot of the sets we have at a Popkin Lake County. You've been a part of doing that, so. Yeah. Able to do that. Yeah. Love building. Jeremy uh, is basketball player, right? <laughs> I was going to say, he can I play. Mean, he former, can, the dude can former, jump. He can know. jump. <laughs> he can jump. He can jump really high. Not former. You're oh, still balling. Goodness. You're still so, balling. Oh, so we've yeah. got, we, we've got a, a variety here. There's a diversity <laughs> to Pastor Jeremy. There's a, he's a Athletics, renaissance man. Athletics, arts. Man, you guys are too carpentry. Kind. Here, here's what I'll say about Jeremy. Man, and go. this is what um, I love. There, there are, just like in everything, there could be stereotypes for a position, worship leader and yeah. whatnot. You you are not that that stereotype. Uh, you there is a level of drive that you have. There is you're a leader. You're a developer. There are so many things about you that that make you outside of that kind of that sort of normal mold that I, I've seen, mm -hmm. and and that has just leaked on our entire team. Mm. And that's one of the reasons many people don't know. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we have Josh Bishop as our worship leader. Mm -hmm. 
is because of how your your heart for leadership development, mm-hmm. and that has started, I believe, in in a sense, that Tuesday training, which was a school of of some sorts, where you would just mm-hmm. train and develop. Speak yeah. a little bit about your heart for leadership development, and where yeah. does that come from, and and a little bit behind your passion. I mean, I, I guess some, something that you're speaking to about me is the idea that I I don't like to do the same thing over and over again in in a way. So I'm always looking for a new adventure. I'm always looking for what's the next thing, you know, kind of thing. It's just kind of, I guess, my my personality. Um, and so with that, I, I see that in other people too. You know, it's it's not just what's next for me and in, in, in my life or my family, but like what's next for you. And if there's somebody I see potential in, then I always like to to ask like, what's next for you? Like, mm-hmm. even if I don't literally ask it, I'm thinking it, you know, what's next for you? Like, what's your next step? You know, what's your next level? you know, level up, let's go, you know, let's do this. Let's make this happen. And so that's, that's the drive behind the Tuesday night development nights that, that we did do. And we're, we're kicking that back up very soon, by the way. Um, and even you just calling it development night shifts mm-hmm. everything. Cause a lot of worship teams will have a night in the week where there will be a jam session or a rehearsal True. or a rehearsal. Or, you know, you know, we're practicing, True. but in, in and those things are developing. encompassed in there, but yeah, right. that's the heart but of it. But the fact more. that it's called development, I don't know we will right. do those things but there's an intentional effort yeah. to develop you, to help you reach your God-given potential. And I love that. Yeah. And like, I think the, the, one of the things I always tell people when they're, when they're joining in that, in that way, um, is there is always like a better, there is always a next step, but I always want to frame it in a way that's not like, Oh, I'm never going to be good enough. You know, cause there yeah. can be that mentality. It's, it's, it's a sense of, and a, and a, a mindset of, no, it's not that. It's like, it's exciting and it's fun that I can get better. It's mm. fun and exciting mm-hmm. that I can do more. It's fun and exciting and, uh, you know, just a, a life impact that I can help somebody more. Um, so it's, you know, it's, that's kind of the, the mindset too. It's not yeah. like I'll never achieve what you've put before me. It's no, let's, let's yeah, go. I, I definitely think that's a strength, Jeremy, you have is, 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 is making it better. And, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, just being able to uh, draw out uh, just better and not in a, in a taskmaster uh, kind of mm-hmm. way. I have been around some uh, musical, uh, leaders that have been kind of harsh I have too. in, <laughs> in how they, uh, lead yeah. people mm-hmm. and, and, and they're, and they're talented. And so people kind of overlook that a little bit, but how they handle people can be difficult. But mm-hmm. I, you know, I, I've never sensed that with you. I've always right. sensed that you, I think you're, you're, you're honest, you're direct. You're authentic, but there's a way to be able to do that. And like, hey, let's 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 keep getting better. Let's let's raise the bar. Yeah, I, I've always thought that you're going to get a lot more out of yourself, and you're going to inspire people a lot more to when they do something well and they do something good to celebrate that in the moment, on the spot, or even sure. shortly after, and make that a big deal, versus when there's a mess up to come down on them hard in a, in a disciplinary way. Now, there is a time for that. Don't get me wrong. There's absolutely a time to correct somebody if they show up unprepared or whatever mm-hmm. it is, you know, yeah. um, to, to have that moment. But you're going to get way more out of somebody if you celebrate when they do show up prepared yeah. uh, than the next time. And the next time, the next time, they're going to show up prepared because you celebrated them and, and, and noted the good, good things they're doing. So. That's good. One of the things I hear uh, quite often is I hear so many people, so many of you will say, I, I, I know that, you're the leader or that uh, now Josh Bishop is the worship leader, but I see so many talented people, Mm -hmm. either they're singing or, and it's not just one band. This seems to be a rotation of people, which I'm aware of, but they're not aware of is, and that just goes to your heart for development because one, Mm -hmm. it is, it's a lot on a weekend to have somebody. So you got a a deep bench of talented people that don't just have gifts, but have a huge heart, which again goes back to your heart for leadership. So thank you for, how you develop. Uh, I know I speak on behalf of everybody. We love, we love our, our entire creative arts mm-hmm. ministry. And so we're, we're grateful for that. You know, and one of the things that we, we joke around a little bit, but the, the, uh, a Popka chief, which is the uh, newspaper <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> in, uh, the, uh, the metropolis of a Popka, our, our community. By the way, we have a newspaper in a Popka. Yeah. You call it Popka <laughs> chief and they do the best of, uh, awards every year, at least the last eight or nine years that I've been here. <laughs> And they have a category, not best church, but best worship bands. <laughs> and Journey's worship band is in the top three every year and has won it the last uh, few years. <laughs> and, and so 
people literally uh, write in, they vote on this, they go online and, and they say, you know, our favorite uh, worship band. <laughs> I'm not sure how that fits theologically, Jeremy. What we're supposed to do with that, yeah. or and you know, by the way, spirits. winning doesn't. Yeah, we're not do sure what it mean means. Anything. I don't know. But uh, but we are. Jeremy has a big a, trophy in the yeah. green room back we there. We are in the I mean, midst I don't of know, a, you know, a the crown that you wear. Right, no. right, yeah. <laughs> no, I did, Pastor Jeremy is he, he's not even aware of that. A lot of you, he, really, we got that again, and and that just uh, speaks to his humility. But uh, there is a level of excellence uh, about it. So, Jeremy, let's 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 talk just a little bit about this season that we're in. <laughs> Um, we, we, we had to make some real uh, shifts to go from on-site, uh, gatherings yeah. to online gatherings. Mm -hmm. And, um, particularly when we did that back in March and had to do that for the first few weeks and then tried to come back and had to shut down again, how, how's that impacted, uh, your team, uh, and, and some of the things yeah. you've learned in making that shift? Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a great question. Um, you know, and, and we, opened up and then, you know, didn't, and then we're back and, and, and it's been life. Life has been that way. You yeah, know, it's right. been like, well, I think we can do this and now we can't. And so it's just, uh, it's the uncertainty of this time as we say so much. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's affected the team and, uh, you know, um, when we first set out, you know, when we had to shut down schools and all, I have four young kids, as we mentioned earlier. And so that was a, that was a thing for, for many of us. Uh, I know for sure when we, um, you know, have to all of a sudden be homeschooled, you know, unexpectedly. So that was the beginning of it. And then it just kind of snowballs from there, you know, as far as in your mind and, and your, in your heart, cause you're concerned and you just don't know what's next. Um, you know, for our team, we were able to, uh, shift things a little bit because being online, we were able to still, still have music and, you know, still be able to, uh, you know, produce these songs, uh, and, and of worship and these, uh, you know, my, my role here is to kind of oversee that, especially at the time was to oversee putting, putting these services together for a hundred percent online, which is, which is different than being on the platform and, you know, also being in person and online. So, you know, it was really a, a good learning experience, honestly, um, <laughs> where, where we can, uh, pivot. And I think we sharpened some skills along the mm -hmm. way. And that's what we have Had to some do. some creative elements. Absolutely. I mean, you know, yeah. I know one thing that, that many of us remember is, is, is the digital choir yes. that, that we used on a couple yes. of songs and yes. um, a song that I believe we're doing this Sunday, uh, Lord Bless You, mm -hmm. or yeah, uh, The, the blessing. blessing. Right. Yeah, The Blessing. Uh, the did great, one when that was yeah. on the roof. Was yeah. that the blessing? Yeah, or, no, no, that no, wasn't the blessing. That was Josh and Bree up yeah. on the roof doing that. <laughs> I remember. I remember for like six weeks in a row. I thought you kept your team just kept outdoing themselves. <laughs> I'm thinking this is not sustainable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And nobody knows out there how many hours it it took y'all to to do things, to edit True. things, to rehearse things. It was a lot. I mean, we look at it now and it seems normal, but mm -hmm. when we first pivoted, it was a massive undertaking. And and here's the thing that I love about yeah. about Jeremy is. We could have done things at a level that everybody everybody would have expected and said, "Oh, that that's good," but you made sure in our pivoting that you took it up a notch. That nobody, we didn't ask you to, we didn't expect it. You just kept taking it up, and that goes to that excellence factor that you're talking about. Well, no, I appreciate that, and I I always say, you know, a, a big part of my background is being a tech tech person, technician, you know, audio, video, lighting guy. Yeah. Um, that's a big part of my background as well, and I always say the best technician is a troubleshooter is one that sees a problem and will jump, like not, not like sit back and wonder about it or move away from it, but dive headfirst into it. And I always say like, if you're a good troubleshooter, no matter what you say and what your resume looks like, if you're a good troubleshooter in the moment, I want you on, on the team, mm -hmm. you know, kind of thing. And so that's kind of, I guess, the mindset I saw in, in that moment. Like, yeah, this is terrible. Like what in the world, a pandemic, you know, this is crazy, but let's, let's make the most of it and make it as, as good as it can be. And now here's what I will it, so say. When you did the choir, it was awesome, but it was, you made one poor decision mm. and I hate mm. outing you <laughs> in front of everybody, but I think it's important that they know. Mm. Okay, let's do it. You sent out an email for people to join the digital <laughs> choir. I got that email. Ugh. I was invited Ooh. to be on the digital choir. And if I would have had a bad day, if the Lord wasn't with me that day mm. and I would have said yes, that thing would have tanked. That was... <laughs> It would have been it would have been horrible. Man. So I don't know if that was a mistake email yeah. or if you were being kind. Yeah, it was a mistake for sure. It was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it was it was, was it was bad. It was, it was yeah. And everybody know. on there was good, is what I ended up noticing. I thought maybe he's maybe 
But it was a mistake because everybody on there was good. <laughs> they were. And, they it, were. and it came out really cool. For yeah. real, like, thank you all those that were able to, yeah. to join yeah, that in on was, that. I mean, there was dozens of you that throughout those those months were able to help in that way. And that was really cool. And we hope to do more of that even now. We're going to we're gonna add a link to to that so that they can watch that. Oh, I think yeah. that'll yeah. be good. Yep. be great. We'll add a link we, to that. Uh, so we've been back, I think, four weeks now, maybe five. I'm not sure. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood. Maybe yeah. it's five weeks. Yeah. Uh, we've been back. And, and when we came back, we... Um, uh, we we did a ticketing system, mm -hmm. which kind of helped us gauge right. uh, how many were coming, how yeah. to do this uh, safely. Yes, and Pastor Jeremy uh, had a lot to do with that. We've mentioned mm -hmm. uh, uh, J.D. Egger and uh, mm -hmm. Cass, uh, our connections uh, uh, director mm -hmm. here. A uh, big team of people had a yeah. lot to do with that. Um, last two weeks, we haven't done that. And just just interested, Jeremy, your mm -hmm. your perspective on yeah. our on site. Mainly, you've, we've just seen a popka. Yeah, yeah. haven't seen Lake County. By the way, Lake County, shout out to you. Uh, got back to two services this past Sunday. I understand it went really well, yep. mm -hmm. which was uh, awesome and glad to hear. Had a baptism eleven fifteen at Lake County, and that's exciting. So uh, back at nine thirty and eleven fifteen at both services. But what just give us your impressions yeah. of what you've seen in the in uh, what I call Restart two point oh. I, I would say in my in my role at Journey, I have a unique perspective of being in front of the scenes, and then also on the ground behind the scenes. Um, and being able to lead teams on, on, on both spectrums there. And so, you know, being able to, to be up here and, and see, uh, you know, the room, so to speak in a popka. Um, and then, you know, like you said, the, the ticketing system, uh, four, four or five weeks ago when we, when we came back in person and resumed, um, to where we are now, it's, it's been interesting because like you said, that was really, and the intent for the whole ticketing system was to, to gauge how many people were coming back and to safely restart and resume. Yeah. Yeah, and we never exactly. want it to last longer than it needs to, because right. obviously it's a little bit of a inconvenience, um, and we get that, and that's why we only did it for three weeks because yeah. we reached a point where we're like, okay, we see this trend happening with the amount of people coming, so let's not do it anymore, and let's not underestimate people. Let's not underestimate how smart people are, and in a room of eight hundred and plus, uh, when we have two to three hundred people, we can we can. You know, yeah. we're smart enough to figure yeah. out, space how to, out how to space out. And, and yeah. you know, that's what we do in the grocery store and everywhere else. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think that's where, where we reached a point where we're like, okay, let's do that for now. And I will say, you know, not, not to, to be on the edge of your seat or anything, but things, things change. We've seen that every, every week, every month throughout these, these months. So whatever that next phase is, you know, thank you in advance for your patience and, and yeah. understanding as we navigate that in the season. I, I'll tell you, I love... I love the culture of of worship and, and the creative arts that mm -hmm. is created here. And I thought about it this weekend because I thought I thought Pastor John was gonna bomb something. <laughs> Cause you you said during the first service, you said, All right, we're during the response, you said, All right, just stay seated. And then the <laughs> band started they started getting into it. And I'm thinking, I don't know if they're gonna be able to stay seated this whole time. <laughs> yeah. And then the second service you go, All right, as it builds, start seating. <laughs> And yeah, if you yeah. want to stand up, feel free. <laughs> and and it's just because there is an energy for worship that yeah. is here. And and let's take a step back. You're the creative arts pastor. Mm -hmm. Unpack that. Okay. I, I mean, we, we talked a little bit about worship, but it's more than yeah. worship. Kind of explain. There's people out there who say, well, what does Pastor Jeremy do? Well, the I think the heart of it comes from, you know, within our team, like in the church, we have core values. But when, with, within the creative arts team, we have some core values. And it's an acronym. Easy to remember. Mm. Here, H-E-A-R. Uh, and it's heart, excellence, attitude, and relationship. And really, those things are broken down. I won't do that right now. But the, the gist of it, even in the acronym word here, is from, you know, 14 times, I believe it is, in the New Testament, it said, whoever has an, hear, an ear, let him hear what the Spirit mm, says to the yeah, church. And that's good. what, that's that's what I want to instill. And in, in those that lead from this platform is like, we want to hear what the Spirit is saying through us to the church. Yeah. Mm, and so good. by that, we want to be ever attentive and aware and, and constantly actively listening to what God wants to say to us, to the church. So whoever has an ear, let him hear. Um, and that really just means whoever is capable of understanding even a, <laughs> a little bit of it, understand like what, mm. what God is saying through you. And so that's what we want to always be aware of, first and foremost, is what is, he, what is God saying through his spirit to us as, as leaders? And then, you know, how can we project that and uh, instill that in others to the church. And so these songs that I'm so thankful for the composers and writers of all these songs that we are able to, to, to sing and mm -hmm. from, from current all the way back hundreds of years ago to the hymns, 
uh, that we're able to, to, to use to help just create an environment, to create a moment for people to, to hear from God. Yeah. So it's heart, yeah. excellence, attitude, attitude, and relationships. Yes. Here. I love that. You can hey, use uh, that for a lot of things. Yeah. That's good. Like well, we it. use it as a prayer template I, a lot. I love, so, you know, um, just to kind of pray through that on your own. I love acronyms. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, there you go. A <laughs> couple things we want to we want to touch base yep. as we kind of uh, uh, wrap it up. Um, night of prayer and worship. Yeah. Uh, we had one, I think, back before we uh, restarted mm -hmm. the second time, mm -hmm. which was really, uh, really a meaningful time. It, it was meaningful to Mel to Melinda and I. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you that. Yes. And uh, it was really powerful. And we're doing another one on November first. Sunday uh, evening. Mm -hmm. is, is it at 5 p.m.? Is, yes, is that yes. when we're doing it? Yes, sir. So at 5 p.m., same time our middle school ministry meets, uh, right? Yes, sir. Uh, at 5 p.m. Uh, at our Apopka campus, mm -hmm. we're doing another night yep. of, of worship and That's prayer. Right. Now, uh, most of us are aware that two days later, uh, we vote uh, the last day to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, I've already voted. Uh, hope you will vote. Uh, very important things. And as, as we were saying, not just uh, uh, presidential, but more impacting on our local lives are our amendments mm -hmm. to uh, the uh, 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 our uh, constitution statewide, yeah. uh, local leaders. Uh, we've there's a few journey folks that are running for uh, for different yeah. things now, uh, locally. So now, did I think you that's vote important. early so that you can keep that day open? Because that that day is also your birthday, Pastor John. Sure. I, I November third. Go there, but uh, yeah, happy birthday! You got to keep that day open. <laughs> party true. all day and all night. About once every four or five years, the <laughs> election lands on my on my birthday. And, November third, um, Pastor John's birthday. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do a church wide TP at his house. I'll I'll send you all the address. It's gonna be great. <laughs> so we're <laughs> November November first. Back to uh, back to that. We're doing we're doing a night of prayer and worship. Five o'clock here at our Apopka campus. Any, anything we need to uh, prepare ourselves for that, Jeremy? Uh, last time when we did that, like you mentioned, we we didn't broadcast it. We will this time because I know there's still a, a lot of people that would have liked to have, would like to join in. A stream online. online? Yes, okay, yes. cool. So we're gonna we're gonna broadcast that online for our online community and anyone that can't or uh, is uncomfortable coming. So that's something to note. But at the same time, if you're comfortable coming, we hope you come. And it's it's yeah. really just uh, it's going to be a, a really great time of prayer and worship. And so there's yeah. some uh, uh, sh uh, obviously a scriptural focus. There's some some specific prayers uh, mm -hmm. for our country yeah. uh, that we want to be uh, uh, praying about. Uh, yeah. It's important. It, it's really important. And 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 regardless of your political uh, uh, affiliation, I think so many of us as followers of Jesus. We just feel a heart to pray. We just yeah. feel a need to cry out to God and, yeah. and, and and to pray for our nation right now. Yes. Yeah, and you mentioned what can we do to prepare for that. I would yeah. say um, we're going to pray, but we're not just going to pray, God, would you allow the election to go my way? Right. That's not the prayer of the night. Right. Amen. The prayer of the night is, God, uh, would you be with the people on the other side of the aisle? Yeah. God, would you be with the president, whoever that's going to be? Would mm. you be with the Republicans, the Democrats, the independents? God, would you be with my the person that's my neighbor that doesn't vote the same. We want to. We want to be a church that prays for people that are that are not the same as us. Yeah. Everybody is welcome, and we're yeah. going to pray for everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm excited about um, on November first. Yeah. But we have another thing that we're going to announce. So that's November first, night of prayer. Yeah, five o'clock. We got some what we would call breaking news. We're going to have to do <laughs> the, the bottom news. bottom <laughs> ticket down there. Scrawler again. You're here. the first ones <laughs> to hear this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, December twenty fourth. That's Christmas Eve, right? That mm. is. So what do we plan on is. doing this year, Pastor Jeremy, on December 24th so, that we haven't done for seven years? It's true. Before my time. Before your I've time. Heard of, I heard, I've heard of this Christmas Eve under the stars Ooh, thing. Ooh, I like it. From so many people. And we tried to do it a couple years. Not yeah. tried, but we talked about doing right. it a couple years and it uh, just wasn't feasible at the time for, for numerous reasons. But this time, we feel like it is and yeah. uh, just a needed, uh, just a little boost of joy. You know what I mean? Um, and so... Christmas Eve, right here at the Popka facility outside. Outside. Christmas Eve under the stars. Just be one gathering. Mm -hmm. It's a large uh, gathering. We hope it'll be as many people feel comfortable coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, always a little nip in the air about that time yeah, of the I year, so. at least when we've done these mm -hmm. in the past. So uh, kind of seasonally uh, yes. uh, prepare for that. Yes. But uh, a lot of people have been here. I, I, even some of our younger staff, when we were talking about this uh, and planning this last month, 
uh, one young gal said, that's my favorite service. That's mm-hmm. my favorite service yeah. of all time. I've heard is, that uh, Is when we've uh, gone outdoors and, and done that. Mm-hmm. So just in kind of where we are with the, the, the virus and trying to do the safest thing we can to gather a what we hope will be hundreds of people that will yeah. come mm-hmm. do it outdoors mm-hmm. and uh, to uh, to just celebrate um, uh, the birth of joy, which is yeah. going to be our Christmas uh, yeah. series this mm-hmm. year. We won't get into that right now, mm-hmm. but uh, it's called the birth of joy. But to celebrate the good news that brings great joy. Yeah. Christmas Eve under the stars uh, this year. More details on that will come. <laughs> we'll get you the time and get you some more. Uh, it's going to be good, though. It's going to be. It's going to be. Yeah, we're excited yeah. about that. So. Well, Pastor Jeremy, any any final thing you want to share with us as we Man. wrap up today? Uh, I don't. I don't We've think hit you so. with a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. I'm I'm honored to 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 sit in this seat between you guys. It's good. It's good to have you and to be with you for sure. Well, Jeremy, we're we're grateful for what you do. Uh, one of our uh, pastors on staff absolutely love you, love your heart, thanks, and so Same grateful you. for you. Same to you. All guys. right. Hey, thanks for joining us uh, for midweek conversations this week. This weekend, uh, we wrap up our. Soul Care Series. We've got a lot of good feedback. Mm-hmm. So many people yeah. talking about how helpful that's been, how challenging it is to, to try to rest uh, the way that we see in Scripture. Mm-hmm. It's a challenge for me. So uh, if you haven't heard last week's message, I encourage you to do that. It's called uh, Rest for Your Soul. But we're wrapping up this week's, uh, this series this week with a message called Bless Your Soul. We already talked about the song, The Blessing, Mm -hmm. but we're going to learn what it means for our soul to be blessed and to be a blessing from our soul to other people. Uh, And that's going to be really, really important. So looking forward to sharing with you again this weekend at uh, Journey uh, Apopka, 930, 1115, Journey Lake County, 930, 1115, and our online community, 930, 1115 on Sundays and 5 p.m. On uh, Sunday afternoon. Thanks for joining us for this week's midweek conversation. As always, we're loving the journey. Have a great week.